Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Akshay Hekte, co-founder and managing director of shakedeal.com. Uh, our tagline is procurement made easy and we're one of the largest uh, B2B procurement focused e-commerce and supply chain companies. Uh, so the topic of my, I, and I hope everyone's staying safe. Um, I know that I've been given a very short period of time. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'm gonna begin. Uh, the topic obviously is uh, digital procurement transformation. And um, that's what we are all about at Shake D. A brief introduction. So we are uh, a B2B focused e-commerce supply chain platform. We've got around 4,000 plus registered vendors, over 5 lakh plus SKUs, uh, 40 plus categories, which can broadly be classified under office IT equipment, uh, warehousing supplies, your MRO, maintenance, repair and operations, and finally your reward spend. We work with over 1,000 plus brands and OEMs, and we deliver Pan India. And also, uh, you know, we export quite a bit. Uh, so we basically have uh, a long tail portfolio of indirect and semi-direct uh, supply products. And we look at this, uh, and we look at procurement as a horizontal problem statement. And therefore, uh, our catalog spans the entire industrial and business supplies range. Uh, some of the brands that we're working with, uh, sorry, some of the big companies that we're working with, these are like uh, Nifty 250 plus. And uh, as you can see, we're sector agnostic. We work with companies across energy, engineering, pharmaceuticals, automotive, uh, construction, facilities management. And one of the things that uh, we see is because the MRO or the indirect procurement domain has quite a bit of overlap. It makes it easy for us to like work with a lot of companies across various sectors. So the, on a high level, these are the pain points that we as Shake Deal are solving. Uh, offline procurement process is one of them where the PR to PO process is pretty time consuming. There's lack of transparency that leads to off contract and spend leakage. Time bound certainty for your deliveries uh, for the critical items is obviously one of the challenges. That's what we solve as well. Fragmented supplier data. For example, you know, you're working with le legacy software and what ha usually happens in those situations is data sits in silos. Uh, we enable a holistic view of the data. We also enable product standardization. And finally, we also try and rationalize the vendor base because uh, that takes a lot of time in the supply chain management process. So how do we do this? So we've got, uh, we digitize the entire end-to-end -end procurement cycle with our procure to pay platform. We've got a world-class procure to pay platform. This results in reduction in the procurement spend leakage. Uh, historically, we've seen that we've been able to consolidate or rationalize vendor bases by 60 to 80% for the entire indirect and semi-direct long tail spend. We've been able to increase the operational efficiency by 30% uh, due to our superior SLAs and turnaround times. And last but not least, uh, we also are able to uh, provide cost savings. And we are able to do this because we are able to aggregate demand on both the buy side and the supply side. A small metric uh, at the bottom of the screen, you can see that there's a sourcing cycle uh, where we've written about the average and the best in class. Similarly, uh, what are the latent costs in the per to pay cycles, especially in terms of cost per PO and cost per invoice processing. With the help of Shake Deal, you're able to minimize uh, the number of POs you need to process and the number of invoices you need to process. And that also helps in minimizing your uh, latent costs in the entire procure to pay process. Just a brief illustration on how we enable catalog buying and uh, product standardization. So in our procure to pay uh, process, one of the first things we do is we stand help standardize your data, ensure that your off catalog or the ad hoc SKUs are also cataloged in such a way that with the proper specifications, we clean that data up, uh, ensure that the master data is collapsed to remove redundancies. And finally, we enable contracting of the negotiated catalog on a procure to pay portal, which is basically a site that 
is branded with your companies and you can have a very seamless checkout experience just like Flipkart or Amazon. This talks about the ops tech infrastructure that, that uh, you know, uh, basically forms the backbone of how orders are fulfilled and how your supplies are made all the way to your go down on warehouses or factories. So you see that we have uh, two sets of, uh, you know, pathways over here. Uh, on the top of the screen, you have a bunch of warehouses where our A plus vendors, the ones that uh, are extremely amazing at service levels and they have high, uh, you know, scores. We enable shipments from there through top shipment with minimum touches and enable maximum throughput. Similarly, we have a network of cloud fulfillment centers strategically located across the country. What happens is uh, these clusters are located close to our vendor clusters and for uh, the A minus and the slower movers, we help consolidate shipments before we, we ship, it, ship them out to our clients. And in any case, whenever there's a requirement for a third party check, that's possible through this uh, third flow, which enables you know, checks before uh, fulfillment of any orders. When you zoom out, this is our network of cloud fulfillment centers. We also have edge or dedicated fulfillment centers. Dedicated fulfillment centers are basically located on or close to the client's premise. And it's when we usually deploy our VMI type of fulfillment model for A plus or repeater, repeaters, SKUs. Uh, on a high level, if you see if a, if a client is sitting at, in the headquarters and placing an order on shakedeal.com, uh, if the item is of a repeater or a A plus mover, it's largely going to be fulfilled through the dedicated FC. And in case it's a slightly slower mover, it's fulfilled from a network of cloud fulfillment centers. Our world-class procure to pay portal or enterprise procurement portal as we call it, basically has a customized e-store. It enables catalog buying. You can set up your dedicated workflows, approval workflows and customize it as much as possible. We've got amazing business intelligence that provides insights for savings and profitability. We integrate seamlessly with all kinds of ERPs and we've done this through APIs. Uh, there are two major formats in which uh, we integrate with ERPs. It's either through CXML or OCI, which is Open Catalog Interface. Our negotiated catalogs are basically uh, everything that we contract with you uh, is hosted over there and you can basically purchase and release POs through the procure to pay portal. Of course, we've got uh, our entire system 100% GST compliant. And lastly, but not least, we also provide you a key account manager, which helps you in your entire purchasing. On a high level, this is how the strategy of, you know, working with clients across the indirect procurement spend. So we start off with analyzing their data and showing that you know, we are able to see what the last purchase prices are, comparative are drawn. Uh, then we analyze what are the best, uh, you know, possible savings that can be provided uh, given a certain SLA that's required. Similarly, the next stage is contracting out. So we decide on the exact percentage improvement in cost price for you. Uh, we figure out the repeaters and align on a model of fulfillment. If it's uh, A plus movers, if there's a requirement for having it very close to your warehouse in case, then we deploy the BMI model. Um, lastly, we, we set up the procurement portals for your, for your entire company, uh, the staff uh, with multiple users, multiple locations, and you can start buying. And the final step is in case integrations are required, which often they are, that can also be done seamlessly. We also have uh, a VMS portal, which basically is a one-stop portal for uh, seamlessly transforming a post-purchase experience. It's built specifically for clients that have a huge or long tail of vendor base. So this basically takes out the requirement of managing all these vendors on your systems and kind of transforms it downstream to us. What happens with this is you're able to like track the entire order status, the tracking of the orders shipments, 
uh, we integrated with 120 plus Korea partners. We we're able to see the statuses of payments. So we basically manage the entire post-purchase experience. We bring in automation over there with various flows and inform the vendors through uh, various routing mechanisms. And at the same time, the client is able to have a single unified dashboard for managing this entire vendor base through a seamless MIS. This is another still of uh, our VMS, uh, something that we built for one of our clients. And this is, again, mainly for managing a very wide uh, tail of vendor base. And uh, this system is exclusively meant for uh, vendor consolidation. Lastly, uh, we have auxiliary models that we work with, which is basically outsource category management and import consolidation. And as a procurement company, uh, these, are, these are verticals that are fastly growing because there's a need for it. And uh, being an end-to-end -end service provider, this is something that we are also providing. With that, I'd like to, uh, I see that my time's up, so I'd like to come to uh, a closing statement. And I hope that, you know, uh, in this times of pandemic, uh, we're all moving more towards digitization because that's what's gonna help us, you know, overcome such supply disruptions. And uh, I have uh, some coordinates on the screen for any of you who have any questions later on and you can help, and this could help you get in touch with us. Thank you very much, uh, Akshay. Thank you very much for sharing uh, the details uh, around the entire process for that matter uh, with regard to the digital procurement transformation. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to urge you all to please connect with Akshay's team in case of any further queries or any other details that you'd need. Thank you once again, Akshay, for joining us this evening and sharing your thoughts. Thank you very much. And with that, uh, attendees, uh, let's uh, gear up for another interesting panel discussion coming your way because this time we're focusing about the digital SEM operating amidst pandemic waves. We already have all of our speakers on board, but let me quickly take a couple of seconds to also introduce who our stalwart speakers are who are joining us this evening. We have with us Javed Ahmad, Senior Vice President, Global Supply Chain, India, Middle East, Africa, East Asia, Japan, Pacific, and South America, with Schneider Electric. We have with us K. Udyan Kohli, Head Supply Chain with uh, Hyphen Foods. We also have amidst us uh, Ramit Mahajan, Head Supply Chain uh, Enablement, I mean, with uh, Henke, uh, Samrat Segal, Head of Supply Chain, Dabur India. Once again, we have with us Mr. V. Bino George, Head of Business consulting in for India and Vishal Sharma, CEO DB Shankar. Now, one person who will be spearheading this entire panel discussion for all of us would be uh, Saurabh Jain, Partner Supply Chain Transformation, PwC India. So let's uh, get up for this interesting panel discussion that's going to begin in just a couple of seconds. Stay with us while all our speakers come together on the screen to share their thoughts with you all. <laughs> 